What is up YouTube, it is Pulse here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Metro Form Theme GUI for your C Sharp applications. Um, so what you're going to need, I will have down below the description on my website, it is going to be labeled number zero for Metro Framework. Um, basically guys, for this one, you're going to need to add references and data sources to your project. So references, you can click right click and add references. And you'll need to add all three of the DLLs in here. And I'm going to show you guys what to add because I do have a bunch of stuff added. So I keep mine in desktop under Visual Studio Files, wherever I put it. And you just need to select all three and add. Once you add them, you can click OK and it will refresh your application and add them in. And you will see them right here. Once you do that, you will go over to your toolbox. You will make a new tab, which all you have to do is click Add Tab. But once you do that, you just click Choose Items. And once you choose items, what you're going to need to do is hit Browse once these are done loading up. These will take anywhere from 10 seconds to 2 minutes to load, depending on how much items you have injected for your framework components already. Um, Sometimes when you start new projects, you will have to re-inject them every time. If you are continuing the same project, all you have to do is just reload the project and they will be in there. Um, plain and simple, guys. I like to leave a Metro tab just so I can know exactly where I need to go automatically to have my Metro theme. So mainly some of these DLLs take really long to add. But anyways, once you do that, all you're going to do is hit Browse and you will click MetroFramework.dll. Once you do that, it will allow you that you are loading the selected files and it will take about 5 to 10 seconds depending on how fast your computer runs. And right here you will see Metro Framework Drawing.html. You will see three of them, Tooltip, Panel, and Label. Once you do that, all you have to do is click OK and they will show up all over here. And the next thing you need to do is... What is this? Why did it just... I don't know why it just gave me that, that was really weird. But anyways, you'll just double click on your form loader. And you're going to scroll up and it's going to say form. All you need to do is change that to metro form. And once you do that, it'll have a bunch of arrows right here. And all you need to do is hit control plus. Or show potential fixes. And click this little tab right while it went away. Um, so I can't get it to come back. And then all you're going to need to do is click using Metro Framework Forms or just add that line in the very top. Once you do that, your form will change and it will look different. Um, you can change the theme of your form. I like leaving my theme at dark because it makes it look a little darker. And the easiest way to get around that is to, where it automatically updates, change something on here. So I want to make it say Metro Demo. Once you do that, all you need to do is hit start and it'll show everything different. But now once you go to type something in and move it, it's going to automatically change your theme. So you can change your style from different colors and just click back in it. But I do not have my tools anymore, so I will need to re-add my toolbar. Um, I'm not too sure where my toolbar just went. Anyways, guys, if you do get rid of your toolbar by accident like I just did, um, I don't see how I got rid of that either. That's really weird. But anyways, all you're going to do is find toolbox, which is control, W, and then X. So once you have it back, you'll have a bunch of different Metro options. Um, I do like Metro buttons a lot better because you can change the theme and the style of them to make them look a little more sophisticated and not as plain as the normal buttons do. So my Visual Basic is kind of lagging up for a sec. Not my Visual Basic. My Visual Studios is kind of lagging up. But you can change the theme on these as well to whatever you want. The light theme is basically the same. But you can still rename them just normally. So normal. And then all you need to do. I meant to click theme. And then click dark. Click in the box somewhere and it will change it. They look a lot nicer, and I don't know, I just like Metro uh, forms a lot better than I do the standard forms. I am I know how you can use them 
Normally, I like how Windows 10 works, it automatically does it for you, but still, if you do not have Windows 10, then you will need to go through this process in order to add them into there. So it's kind of cool, though, how everything runs, like, smoothly, but it's kind of annoying that you do have to change them, but it's whatever, guys. If you do have any questions, let me know. I will be posting more c -sharp videos as well, and yeah, guys, leave a like and a sub, and I'll get back to you with more videos. Thanks.